Hello! This tutorial is about sustainable file types for language documentation and archiving. In this video, you'll learn some tips for choosing appropriate file types when depositing materials to an archive. Archiving is a way of preserving data for the future. When collecting your data, you want to save media files that will be accessible many years from now, regardless of future technological changes. Your repository will likely have guidelines or suggestions for the types of files they can accept or support, but we'll go over general guidelines for collecting and depositing digitally sustainable media files. File formats can be proprietary or open. Proprietary formats are formats designed to only be open by particular types of software or hardware. That's great for giving the developers of these formats and softwares control over their technology, but not so great for sharing materials, especially in an archival setting. Those specific programs may also become obsolete in the future if they become abandoned by their developers since no one else knows their code. And it may become difficult for the archive to make obsolete formats usable in the future. Open source formats are file types that are not controlled by one specific developer or software company, so they can be opened by both proprietary and open source software. Open source software code is publicly accessible, so if one developer stops working on it, another can continue with all the necessary information. They're less likely to become obsolete. Think of it this way. Imagine you found an old floppy disk that might have some important data on it. You might not have the technology immediately available to get that data because that format is obsolete. It works similarly with digital files. For example, say you have a presentation in Keynote or Microsoft PowerPoint both of which are proprietary formats. You might end up with a message like this. Before you send your presentation documents to your archive, you should save it as an archivable PDFA to preserve the content in a more sustainable format. Lossless. Unless there are space issues, you will archive the uncompressed, lossless versions of media files so they are preserved in their original quality. Some repositories host or create derivative files for distribution purposes as well. However, especially when it comes to video, always check with your archive to see what formats they can accept. Unencrypted. Encryption is a process of converting data into a form that can only be accessed by authorized users. This can include password-protected zipped files, as well as digital rights managed or DRM content. Encrypted data cannot be archived. Only archive data that can be opened without specialized programs or digital permissions. While you may not be able to use encryption to protect your files, many archives do have the ability to restrict access to sensitive materials. Unstructured. At this time, most repositories cannot archive interactive data that is not self-contained in a single media file. A database might not be archivable, but the tables that comprise it would be. Similarly, a searchable online dictionary might not be archivable, but a PDFA of the terms with their meanings would be. Non-executable. Executable data with executable code should not be archived in a digital language archive or institutional repository unless the repository specifically says so, such as in version control repositories like GitHub. Executables could harm the digital repository that is preserving your materials. As always, work with your repository to find out about their file format restrictions. If you make sure your files are open, lossless, unencrypted, unstructured, and non-executable, you should be in great shape to deposit to an archive. For more videos like this one, check out Isla's channel.